sure the value, the value of my practice would have been lower if LPS wasn't there backing me. I went to dental school down in uh, Loma Linda, California. I graduated from dental school in 1998 and uh, went straight in and did my residency in orthodontics also at Loma Linda and uh, for two years and graduated in 2000. Um, I became a dentist. My dad actually was a professor at the dental school and so he was a general dentist and that was kind of my uh, introduction to dentistry and watching him work and uh, shadowing him sometimes and uh, that's how I got into the dental field. I heard about LPS. Well, I've been hearing about LPS for quite a few years at dental meetings mostly. Um, so, and I talked to a couple of gentlemen, I don't remember their names, this is quite a few years ago, and um, talked to them a little bit about it. My thoughts on the valuation process, it was pretty straightforward. It was what I thought it would be. I actually wasn't sure what to expect with the value. Um, so I wouldn't say surprised. I would say that uh, it was just kind of eye-opening more than anything. Um, it allowed me to understand a little bit more from, the, from a business standpoint. Um, how businesses evaluate or value each other um, and how businesses are, are valued um, outside of the orthodontic world. So surprising, no, but eye-opening, yes. So the reasons I chose to look into affiliating with a DSO or an IDSO, um, there's a couple ones. One was in my career, um, I wanted to be able to um, remove some of the stress of the management side of dentistry. Um, and I knew that uh, with a DSO that they take over the management side, the front office side, as far as the uh, bookkeeping and the, the uh, bills and all that and payroll. Um, that was one of the things that led me that way. Another one was in my career as I was, as I'm moving along, trying to see where the best I can get the best value out of my practice. Um, from a retirement standpoint and from a, a cash flow standpoint. Um, that was another um, one of the decisions that I made. Um, another decision was uh, having a group uh, to back myself from a, um, a uh, how do I say it, uh, to give me uh, backing as far as long-term stability. Um, getting with a group that uh, has stability as the economies come and go, you have you have something to help you out. I enjoyed working with Maxwell. Um, he was the he was my go-to with LPS during and leading up to LOI. Um, I thought Max did a really good job, I, and uh, he uh, I didn't know a ton about how this works, so he really helped me understand it and was you know more than more than happy to talk at any time and ask answer questions that I had and and. Uh, dig a little bit deeper. Um, and so that was awesome. Oregon was great. Uh, she was good to work with. She answered any questions I had during the process um, and was able to, to work with me on that. I don't think there's any doubt that LPS added value to the you know EBITDA. I'm sure the value, the value of my practice would have been lower if LPS wasn't there backing me. I didn't have the information prior to LPS that I do now. And so that, that was worth a lot of value as well.